Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'm bringing you guys my new Blu-ray and DVD shopping guide for Tuesday, September 10th, 2019. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So right off the bat, I apologize if you guys can hear it or if it's too loud. It is raining. I, I can't hear it a lot from here. So hopefully the microphone doesn't even pick it up, but it is an issue. Sorry if you guys can hear it too much, but uh, big week this week. Not that I have more than the average amount to review for you guys. But there is a ton of releases. Disney is really trying to kill us at the end of this year. Uh, they have a ton of releases this week. I'm not sure why some are coming to 4K for the first time. Some are just being re-released on Blu-ray. When you would think they should just get a 4K release, I don't know if they're just trying to milk it again, They'll do 4Ks here next year or what. I don't know, I don't know what the deal is. Um, they are releasing matching slip covers, so they're trying to get like the whole collection on a matching slip cover. I don't know, it's a lot of releases, guys. So let's get into it. Um, I will have links to as many of these movies down in the description below. Um, description's gonna be huge and YouTube doesn't let it be too long, so I'll, I'll get what I can. But uh, if you guys wanna purchase any of these movies using those links, it will help support the channel. So let's get right into it now, guys. We got uh, Supernatural, the complete 14th season. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Best Buy and Target, $34.99. Amazon and Walmart, $35.66. It's also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart, $29.96, Target, $29.99, and Best Buy, $34.99. Now, Warner Brothers did send me over a copy for review. I did post an unboxing of this. If you guys want to check that out, you can just search for Supernatural on my channel. Now, I thought this was the last season, but we do have one more season. And even, even as I was watching it, I was kind of like, I don't know, this doesn't seem like a final season. Looked it up. It is season 15. I just remembered talk of uh, of it of like the final season. So I thought it was this one. Uh, I'll just give you guys a quick look here at the inside. Um, your discs have a kind of similar to the, the cover art uh, three disc set, I believe. And you got an episode guide there. Like I said, if you guys want to check out the full unboxing, uh, just search for that on my channel. Now, I haven't followed this show. I watched last year. Um, other than that, I haven't really seen the show. And I feel like to me, I'm kind of lost because I don't have a lot of the lore and everything of the show. Basically, these guys are kind of like monster hunters and demon hunters. And um, it has a lot to do with like supernatural and kind of like demonic and, and religious type things. And their friend Jack from last season, who was the son of, was it their mom? Who I can't remember who the mom was. And Lucifer, so he's like half human, half archangel. Um, basically, he gets his grace stolen, so now he's like weak and uh, he gets sick and he's he's more human, kind of. And there's kind of this roller coaster of, you know, trying to, to cure him and keep him safe. And they're also trying to kill Michael. And, you know, overall, I enjoyed this season. I thought it was fun. I definitely liked, I'm assuming it was the Halloween episode uh, where they went to that, like, kind of comic book store or something like that. And the toys, like, came to life. I mean, it really didn't have anything to do with the story this season. But I thought it was a fun episode for sure. And overall, you know, guys, I like this one. I think probably Supernatural fans maybe would be more into it. Uh, like I say, I got 12 seasons to catch up on. Um... So I give this one a three and a half out of five. Definitely check this one out. Uh, it is a lot of fun. Uh, but, oh, also DJ Qualls. Yes, DJ Qualls was in one or two episodes. I didn't even recognize him at first because he had a beard. He's the kind of guy you would you would think couldn't really grow facial hair. But if you check this out, you'll see him. It's definitely cool. I always liked DJ Qualls. You know, he kind of dropped off the map. But, you know, he, he, was, he was good. Uh, so next up is Daybreakers. This one is releasing on 4K for the first time. It'll include 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $17.71, Best Buy $17.99, and Target $19.29. Now Lionsgate did send me over a copy for review. Uh, let's see, this is 2000... Well, when did this come out originally? I don't see it. Anyways, <laughs> so, so yeah, this you guys... Pr May have seen this before. I had never actually seen it. This was a first time watch for me. 
Um, so you have the Blu-ray artwork there and then the 4K artwork, uh, same as the cover. So this movie has, uh, I'm blanking on the name right now, Ethan Hawke. I love Ethan Hawke. He's so great. It also has Willem Dafoe, Sam Neill, and Isabel Lucas. I'm not really sure uh, who she is or, or that I remember seeing her in anything before. But Ethan Hawke is kind of the main character. And this is a, a world where vampires have taken over the world and um, they're, they're running low on humans to, to source blood from and they, they'll kind of die if they can't have the blood. And Ethan Hawke is a scientist and he's working on a, a kind of alternative or a substitute or something because basically, you know, it's a global crisis that all the vampires are running out of blood. And um, it was an interesting movie. I definitely liked it. it you know, the, there's he's, he's, he doesn't like uh, killing humans. Like he'll, he'll uh, I think, drink pig's blood or something. And, um, but a lot of people just don't really care and they're kind of all blood hungry. <laughs> that was an interesting movie. I definitely liked it. Uh, Ethan Hawke was great, of course, and definitely kind of a different take and, and an interesting story for sure. I give this one a three out of five. Next up is Lock Up. This one is releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $17.71, Best Buy $17.99, and Target $19.29. Now Lionsgate did send me over a copy for review. This is a Sylvester Stallone movie. Man, this thing had to be pretty old. Uh, 1989. Oh, let's see if this... Uh, where did I see that? 1989. They don't have that part on here. Uh, I'm not seeing it. 2010. 2010 on Daybreakers. So this one's from 1989. And this movie's almost as old as I am. So I had never seen this one. Uh, here's a look at the cover. And the discs, I don't remember. They have the same art on the 4K and the Blu-ray. And I don't, you know, I don't know how original this movie was then, but I feel like I've seen a lot of similar kind of movies and shows and stuff. But what happens, and, and they kind of allude to it, and I, I didn't understand exactly what was happening, but basically um, Sylvester Stallone had gone sent to prison, and he was, I don't know if it was like a couple weeks or a couple months from getting out, and somebody... I'm not sure who, I don't think it was his father, maybe it was his father, but some somebody he knew was dying and he wanted to get out to go see him, kind of like a furlough or whatever, and um, they denied him, and so he escapes to go see him, and then he gets sent to prison for like another five years, and he's in minimum security, and he has like six months left, and for some reason he's transferred to maximum security, and... It, it turns out the warden has a vendetta against him and he's basically trying to either, you know, have him get killed in prison or kind of fight back and, and get more time added on and kind of just end up being there for the rest of his life. It's definitely an interesting movie. Stallone was great. I mean, he's always pretty great. And there were a couple of cheesy scenes where he was doing his, ah, you know, his <laughs> yelling and, uh, but it was a good movie. Like I say, I, d I don't know how original it was when it came out, but um, it wasn't super original, I don't think, now. <laughs> like I say, I've just seen a lot of similar things. But great performances in this. Definitely a, a good movie. A lot better than I was expecting. Definitely check this one out, guys. I gave this one a 3.5 out of 5. Next up is SEAL Team Season 2. This one is releasing on DVD only. Amazon and Walmart, $29.96. Best Buy and Target, $39.99. Now, CBS Television did send me over a copy for review. I remember when the first season came out. Um, I never picked it up, though, and um, but I, I definitely uh, I'm glad I got to check this one out. So this one is about a SEAL team. Uh, I don't. They just call them Bravo Squad or something like that. So um, I don't know. They have a a number like SEAL Team Six or whatever. But it's uh, this group of Navy SEALs, you know, and and they they get called for these missions. And they're kind of like special ops missions. And it's not really like running and gunning and, you know, just laying down fire like crazy. Uh, they're more tactical and, and team oriented and working together to, um, you know, stop terrorists or save people or whatever. But they also have, you know, their time outside of work at home and a uh, great story with uh, kind of their home life and really fun action with the SEAL life. I really enjoyed the show, guys. It was really cool. Um, it does have this guy here who was in Bones as kind of the main character. You guys probably can't see it. That guy from um, from Bates Motel, the brother Dylan, 
he's in it. It was cool to see him because I didn't I didn't really know he was doing anything. Um, you got your episode guide there in the cover. Just plain discs, but it does also have the episodes on the discs. And then uh, got some photos there in the back. Like I said, guys, definitely a cool season. I haven't checked out season one, but I'm definitely going to pick that up uh, and check that out. I gave this a four out of five. It's a really good show, guys. Uh, great performances. Top notch. All right, so next up we have Hawaii Five O, the complete ninth season. This one is releasing on DVD only. Uh, Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart thirty four ninety nine, and Target forty two forty nine. And CBS Television did send me over a copy for review. Uh, it's hard to believe this has been on for nine years. I've never seen it. I've never seen the original. Um, I think the original um, lasted nine years too, didn't it? I'm not positive, but I want to say it did. Um, here's a look at the cover. Uh, I don't remember what the inside was like. Uh, pretty similar. We got the episode guide on both sides there, and we do have the individual episodes on the discs. So this takes place in Hawaii, as the name would suggest, and uh, it's kind of like this special, like, cop, I don't know, uh, unit called 5 so like, I don't know, I guess they're just a special unit. I don't know if they really got into it. I'm sure somewhere in the nine seasons they got into it, but um, I didn't know exactly like what you'd call it. I'm just a special unit, I guess. And uh, so this show is really just a mixture of um, crime solving, like they, they'll find evidence and clues and they'll solve the crime, and a mixture of um, actual action, fighting action and shooting and you know apprehending uh, different people. And, you know, I had fun with it. It was definitely fun to watch. Um, I gave this one a 3 out of 5. Next up is Arctic, and this one will be on the Epic Pictures website. Uh, if you pre-order it, so I don't know if pre-orders end on Monday or Tuesday, uh, it'll be $14.99, and then after that, I'll go up to $26. Uh, next up is John Wick 3 Parabellum. <laughs> Since you're releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital, Amazon and Walmart $24.96, Best Buy and Target $24.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $29.99. It's also going to release on a Blu-ray DVD and digital, uh, Amazon and Walmart $19.96, Best Buy and Target $19.99. Target will also have an exclusive Steelbook, uh, which will be a Blu-ray version, and it'll include Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $24.99. And it's also going to release on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart $14.96. Best Buy and Target $14.99. Now, I did pre-order the 4K Steelbook. I'm not sure when it's going to be here. Uh, I'll probably bring you guys an unboxing of that. And I'm probably going to go Tuesday and pick up that Target version. I really like the artwork. I hate to double dip on it, uh, but the artwork's so cool. I'd love to have it for my Steelbook collection. Uh, next up, we have Aladdin 2019. Now, this is the live-action Aladdin. Uh, a lot of people questioned Will Smith as the genie. I thought he worked. Uh, just right up front. I gave this one an eight and a half out of ten. I loved it. Slight variation on the story, but uh, you know, pretty much the same story. Uh, it's gonna release on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Walmart $29.96, Best Buy and Target $29.99, Amazon no listing. Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. I did pre-order this one again. I'll uh, probably bring you guys an unboxing as soon as I can on that. Uh, Target will have a gallery book version, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. I don't know. I always feel like the gallery books aren't as good of a deal. Like, it seems like they should be cheaper than the steel books, right? Like, adding a couple of pieces of paper compared to making it metal. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I know some people collect them. Uh, it's also releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital. Best Buy $22.99, Walmart $24.96, Target $24.99, and Amazon no listing. Next up, we have the Aladdin 1992, and that one's gonna be coming to 4K, um, but they're also gonna release a Blu-ray. I think it's just to, to do like a matching slipcover version or something. Uh, it's gonna release on a 4K Blu-ray and digital, Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, all $29.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99, and then Target will have a 4K Gallery Book, which will again include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. Uh, and then finally, it's going to release on a Blu-ray DVD and digital, Amazon and Walmart $24.96, Best Buy and Target $24.99. Uh, did I mention I ordered that steelbook already? Uh, next up is The Jetsons, the complete original series, uh, releasing on a Blu-ray, Amazon, Target and Walmart $23.99, Best Buy, no listing. 
Next up is The Dead Don't Die. Have you guys seen this one? Love to hear guys' thoughts on it. Um, I mean, it was a movie that I would like to like, but it just, from the trailer, it didn't, it didn't get me excited for sure. Uh, it's releasing on a Blu-ray and digital, Amazon and Best Buy $22.99, Walmart $24.99, and Target $30.49. Also releasing on a DVD, Amazon and Walmart $17.96, Target $19.99, and Best Buy $22.99. Next up is The Alienist Season 1, releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Best Buy $24.99, Amazon $25.07, Target and Walmart, no listing. This one will also be releasing on a DVD. Target $14.99, Amazon and Best Buy $19.99, and Walmart, no listing. Next up, we have Casino coming to 4K. It'll include 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $17.96. Best Buy $19.99 and Target $23.99. Best Buy will also have an exclusive 4K Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $24.99. Now, I didn't order that Steelbook. Casino, I think I've seen it before. You know, these, these movies are all right. They're, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. I just don't necessarily get into the gangster movies too much. And uh, I already ordered like 10 Steelbooks this week. So, <laughs> you know, you got to draw the line somewhere, I guess. Uh, so now we have a bunch of uh, Disney movies coming to 4K for the first time. So first up, we have Ratatouille. Now, I've never seen this one, and I don't own it, so this will be my first copy, probably not my last. <laughs> uh, it's releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, all $29.99. We'll be having also a Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. And then a matching slipcover Blu-ray DVD and digital, Amazon, Best Buy and Target, $24.99. Walmart, for some reason, $28.99. There's a little weird prices on these. Uh, next up is Finding Nemo. Again, releasing for the first time on 4K. Uh, I have seen Finding Nemo. Definitely love Finding Nemo. Uh, it's releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, $29.99. Best Buy exclusive Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. And then a Blu-ray DVD and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, and Target $24.99, Walmart $28.99. Next up is Finding Dory. Now, I have not seen this one before. I do own the 3D version. What do you guys think? Is this one as good as the original, or is it worth checking out? Uh, it is releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Walmart $29.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. It's also releasing on a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital, Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, all $24.99. Next up is Inside Out. Now, I do own this one. I didn't even realize that I got the 3D version from the Disney Movie Rewards, uh, but not one I've ever seen. I know this one is, a lot of people do like this one, but uh, I've never seen it. Uh, it's releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital, Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, all $29.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. And it's also releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital uh, Best Buy $24.90. Amazon, Target, and Walmart, $24.99. Next up is Cars. Now, I, I highly enjoy Cars. I love Cars. I've seen it several times. Um, I think I have the 3D version. Yeah, I recently got the UK 3D version, and I got the uh, I've got the... I guess just standard Blu-ray version, probably. Um, that one is releasing on the 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, $29.99. And then Best Buy will have an exclusive Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. <laughs> and then it's releasing on a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, $24.99. Next up is Cars 2. Now, I know a lot of people thought Cars 2 was kind of a downgrade. Um, I kind of watched some of it. I've never seen the whole thing. I really... I honestly really need to watch it. Um, I do have the 3D version of that one. Uh, it's releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, all $29.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. And then it is releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, and Target, $24.99. And I couldn't find it on the Walmart website. So uh, next up is Brave. I can't. I want to say I have this one in 3D. I'm not positive, though. It is releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Best Buy, $29.90. Target and Walmart, $29.99. I've, I've never seen it, though. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> it's also releasing uh, Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K Steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital 
for $34.99. It's also releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital copy combo pack. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, $24.99. Next up, we have The Good Dinosaur. Now, another one I've never seen. I, I'm not saying I don't like animation movies. I just don't really get into them a lot. Um, but uh, I do have the 3D version. I remember this one, the 3D version on this was a little tough to find. Uh, it's releasing on a 4K Blu-ray and digital copy combo pack. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, all $29.99. Best Buy will have an exclusive 4K steelbook, which will include 4K Blu-ray and digital for $34.99. And then it's releasing on a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, all $24.99. So all of those new Disney first time to 4Ks, I did pre-order all the steelbooks. It was six of them. Uh, it's a little ridiculous, but I just felt like I had to have them. So um, again, I, that's six... Seven, eight, is that nine steelbooks for the week? Um, I'll, I'll be bringing you guys a look. I'll probably do all those Pixar ones together. I don't want to try to do the work to make each one. Um, there's just no time for that. Uh, next up, we have the Santa Claus three movie collection. Now, I'm a little disappointed they're releasing this this year because I just bought the collection last year. Um, so it's released on a Blu ray and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart, all $24.99. And I want to say that's less maybe than I paid. Uh, I'm not sure, but Best Buy will have an exclusive steelbook, which will include Blu-ray and digital for $29.99. I did decide to skip on that one. As I said, I've, I already spent over $300 on steelbooks this week, and um, I already have the movies. It's not an upgrade. I just, I couldn't do it, guys. Uh, we also have the individual Santa Claus movies releasing, luckily not on steelbook. Um, so the Santa Claus releasing on Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $13.99, Best Buy $14.99, and Target $15. The Santa Claus 2, releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $13.99, Best Buy $14.99, and Target $15. And then the Santa Claus 3, releasing on a Blu-ray and digital. Amazon and Walmart $13.99, Best Buy $14.99, and Target $15. I kind of want to say I reviewed them all last year. I don't remember for sure, but I thought I did. You know, I like them. The third one was a little silly, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, next up is Chicago PD Season 6. This one is releasing on a DVD. Amazon Best Buy and Walmart $19.99. Target $27.99. Next up is Necrotronic. This one is releasing on a DVD. Amazon and Walmart $17.74. Best Buy $17.99. And Target $19.69. Now, I did review this one already. I saw it, um, I don't know if it was releasing on digital or theaters or whatever. Sometimes when these movies release to theaters or digital or whatever, they'll uh, send me a link to watch it. And I did post a review. You guys can search for Necrotronic on my, Necrotronic on my channel and find that one. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was about, but these guys were using this ghost catcher app and it, there was like demons involved and i remember it being surprisingly good and it was it was really cool great effects and i really enjoyed it i, I just can't remember all the specifics of it <laughs> right now but i definitely want to check out it's kind of sad they're only releasing it on dvd uh next up is being frank this one's releasing on dvd uh amazon and walmart 14.96 best buy 17.99 and target 1969. Next up is This Is Us, the complete third season. Now, I've never seen this show. Uh, Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart, 1999. Target, 2499. And now we have a kind of a list here of more Disney movies that are getting um, just matching slipcover versions. Um, and, and some, if not all of these, I kind of wonder why they're not coming to 4K. Uh, like I say, I don't know if they're just... I don't know. That's weird. Wouldn't you think they just released them in 4K? Uh, so first up, we have A Bug's Life, releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital. Amazon Best Buy, Target, Walmart, $24.99. And then we have Wally. -E. This one's releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital. Amazon Best Buy, Target, Walmart, $24.99. <laughs> and next up, we have Monsters, Inc. I love Monsters, Inc. Uh, one of my favorites. Uh, releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital. Amazon Best Buy and Target, $24.99. Could not find it on the Walmart website. And then we have Monsters University. Now, I've never checked this one out. I've always wanted to. And I think I got the UK 3D version. And I just, I don't know. I've never checked it out. Uh, what do you guys think of it? Um, Best Buy and Target, $24.99. Walmart, $28.99. And it doesn't look like I got the Amazon price. I must have forgot. Uh, I'm guessing $24.99. That's what everything else is. 
Um, next up is Up. I've never seen this one. I don't believe I own it. Uh, it's releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, and Target, $24.99. And Walmart, $28.99. Next up, we have Tangled, releasing on a Blu-ray DVD and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, and Target, $24.99. Walmart $28.99. And then we have The Incredibles. Now, did this release on a Blu-ray? I know it recently, or a few months ago, or whatever, released on 4K. I don't remember if they did a Blu-ray with it, too, or if it was just a 4K. But now they're doing a matching slipcover version. Uh, so it's going to have a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Walmart, all $24.99. And again, with Wreck-It Ralph. I know just not that long ago they released it on 4K. Um, but now we're doing a matching slipcover Uh Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Amazon, Best Buy, Target, at Walmart, all $24.99. Now, FYE is going to have an exclusive King Kong vs. Godzilla Blu-ray steelbook for $17.99. Um, there was supposed to be another one, but I didn't see a release date on it, so I just took it off the guide. Um, last up this week, I have a previous release to review for you guys. This one's Doll Factory from uh, Wild Eye Releasing. Uh, now, this is one of those ones where I think you can't let the judge the book by its cover um so we have some dolls here on the cover doll factory so this movie is definitely a horror comedy that it really doesn't take itself too seriously it, it's very strong on the humor um some kind of gags and um even some parody i would say and uh there's this doll factory and and uh, people get killed there or something and then it's like years later and these kids are doing some sort of seance or something there and then the dolls come back to life and they're kind of killing everybody and the dolls are just super silly and funny and it's i don't know i liked it guys i thought this movie was a lot of fun that was a good horror comedy like i said it just didn't take itself too seriously seriously uh, it was a lot of fun and fun it was a lot of fun and it was silly and uh, I think this would be a good movie, like if you're doing like a uh, Halloween party. This does take place on Halloween, um, but if you're doing like a Halloween party and you, you want something not too scary, something fun, you have a couple drinks and have a good laugh, definitely a good choice. Um, definitely surprised how much I like this one. Uh, it's good fun. I give this one a three out of five. Definitely, you know, Halloween's coming up. I would I would check this one out. A budget title. I don't I don't know how much they're charging right now, but typically these are around ten dollars. Um, definitely check that one out. I don't know if these are available in Walmart. Uh, if it is, pick it up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. It's pretty long, almost half an hour, but um, just a lot of titles. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave it a like rating. Please help support the channel. If you haven't already subscribed for more videos, check out suggested videos. Check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com, and I'll see you guys next time.